Welcome to one of the world's busiest shipping lane, Singapore. Singapore, one of the busiest shipping lane and maritime port in the world. It is the home of some of the greatest ports in maritime trade. At an average, 140,000 ships call Singapore port annually. Currently, it is the world's second busiest port in terms of total shipping tonnage. Ships transiting to Pacific from Indian Ocean usually pass through the Singapore Strait. Over 1,200 vessels transit daily via Singapore Strait, making it one of the busiest shipping lanes. As far as world's maritime trade is concerned, Singapore plays a major role in it. One third of world's shipping container and half of world's annual supply of crude oil, it is transshipped via Singapore ports. Singapore Strait is strategically and economically important to the world's maritime trade. After departure from the discharging port, our vessel was scheduled to Singapore for inspections, repairs, crew change, refueling and services. Once we got out from the Yangtze River, our planned route was via east of Taiwan towards South China Sea and to Singapore. If you haven't watched my previous vlog of transit through the Asia's longest river, Yangtze, click on the right button on the top right corner. It's a must watch guys. We arrived at Singapore Anchorage in the morning and dropped anchor at the designated position, waiting for all the action about to take place at the anchorage. Stay at Anchorage at Singapore is usually quite hectic for the ship staff. Attending to various tasks at once makes the day quite busy. We had few services or bridge equipments to be done during the port stay. Whole operation was going to take around 10 to 12 hours. Also we had supplies of landing of ships garbage and refueling of the ship. Guys, welcome to the night visuals of Singapore Anchorage. Uh, we are here at Singapore Anchorage at Special Post Post Alpha. The vessel is having a bunkering operation. Then we had uh, some inspection earlier and crew changes uh, planned for tomorrow. Uh, there are some more other inspection which we, go, which we will have uh, tomorrow in the afternoon. So Singapore is like circus man. It's like circus all the time when you arrive in Singapore. Oh my god, it's pretty hectic for everybody. All ship staffs, they are busy in everything. You know, we have supplies, uh, we off land garbage, we have inspections, we have visit from the company, bunkering, uh, inspections. Oh my god, Singapore is circus. But anyhow, everybody is managing quite well. Uh, also, we had uh, we have crew change now. Tomorrow, I think around uh, 10 of our ship's crew, they'll be uh, signing off and the uh, new crew have already embarked uh, yesterday in the afternoon. Uh, we are planned to stay here till afternoon and evening once uh, these all inspection and bunkering will be finished We'll depart from Singapore. Okay, I'll just go outside I'll show you guys that we had a bunker barge in our port site uh, right now. We are bunkering bunkering is uh, refueling of the ship uh, So there is a bunker barge a small vessel which will come come alongside to our ship And then there is a hose which will be connected from the bunker barge to our vessel manifold that is the pipeline uh, connection to the fuel oil tank and from there uh, fuel oil will be pumped from the bunker barge towards our vessel so we have this stipulated quantity that how much we have to uh, pump in and then that much quantity is pumped in by the bunker barge and then we check how much quantity we have received uh, let's go outside uh, it's it's already dark but i'll i'll try to show if possible because normally, you know, in the dark, GoPro doesn't shoot well. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So this is the Mangabaj I was talking about. If you could see this black, the black thing that uh, it's a big hose. So that is the hose which is connected from the Mangabaj coming to our ship's manifold over here. It is connected to the pipeline and that pipeline is going down inside to our uh, ship's fuel oil tank. So that's how uh, refueling of the merchant vessels are done. If you could see there is a crane, there is a crane here and then hose is connected over here coming to our ship's manifold. Guys, this is the full coastline of Singapore. Normally here in Singapore, most of the vessel arrive here for bunkering, crew change, uh, stores, inspections because Singapore has everything uh, which can be offered to a maritime industry. You name it and Singapore has it. Be it inspections, supplies, repairs and also you know Singapore is the busiest shipping lane uh, all around the world. The Singapore TSS is the busiest TSS and we have numerous vessels those are anchored here at uh, uh, different different anchorage in the Singapore port limits for uh, carrying out different operations and also Singapore is one of the busiest uh, shipping hub for tankers as well as containers so there are numerous tankers and containers entering the Singapore TSS for carrying out cargo operation at the Singapore ports first day at Anchorage was quite busy one Later in the afternoon, we had crew change. Ten members of our ship staff were signing off. Signing off from the ship is always a happy moment in Seafair's tenure on board. And that's true if you're signing off just before the festive season. Guys, now off signers are disembarking the vessel. Oh, they've already gone. That is the boat. This is the one man. Off they go. Back to the home. Merry Christmas guys. You know this is uh, one of the best time to sign off in the year. It's mid of December and as soon as you reach your home it's already Christmas and then New Year. So it is one of the best time to sign off for the Guys, this is how the radar screen looks like when you are at Singapore Anchorage. All these yellow objects you are seeing over here are the ships. Those are at anchor, carrying out bunker operation, inspections and other services as well. Right now we are anchored at Eastern Special Purpose Alpha. This is a designated anchorage uh, in the Singapore port limits. Uh, this yellow part you see, this is the Singapore coast. This dark circle, guys, you are seeing this is the turning circle of the vessel. So this, this is our ship. Uh, we are, we dropped anchor over here and this is the turning circle usually the vessel when we drop anchor at a location the vessel turn around to this uh, around this turning circle so we know that exactly what is the turning radius of the vessel and we have few more anchor vessel which uh, they have dropped anchor nearby to us but they are almost three cables uh, far from us so this is the visual guys from the navigation bridge right now it's uh, my anchor watch it's around five o'clock Outdoor visual guys, right now the weather is cloudy, we had rain, strong rain in the afternoon but now it's clear, uh, maybe in the night time we have rain again. So these, these are the hatch covers of our vessel as you could see, these are the hatch covers. The hatch covers are open because we have some uh, uh, repair work going on uh, in the cargo holds, that's why we have opened hatch cover just for the ventilation and this repair work uh, would be completed by this evening. Oh, you see this is a barge, small vessel, tanker vessel going Also there are numerous vessels anchored at the Singapore There is a dredger guys uh, anchored on the starboard quarter This is the dredger What actually a dredger do is the dredger dredges the seabed and uh, it make, increases the depth of the water so that vessel with deep draft can uh, navigate through that channel. So normally we have in Singapore we have plenty dredges, those are dredging the TSS. This is our cargo hold number 9 and we have opened other hold as well. 
uh, i think by this evening this repair works uh, will get completed and then tomorrow morning we might sail out of the singapore anchorage this anchorage area is full of ships guys it's full of ships there are ships all around anchored singapore they are here at for various activities and this is the singapore coastline on our starboard side the that is the marina bay sands building uh, i'll i'll just shoot a closer look of that video so i could uh, show you over here guys that is marina bay sands one of the most fascinating building in singapore and this is the full coastline of singapore singapore arrival is always hectic man it is always hectic for all of the ship staff including engineers deck officers or uh, the deck ratings as well every singapore arrival man it's different it's different from the earlier one we have new challenges every time and we got to learn new things as well so that we can apply that in our next voyage to minimize the workload uh, on the ship staff what what are the duties you know what uh, all procedures and duties we follow while the vessel is at anchor what first of all uh, let me show you this is bhf guys uh, we have two bhf one is over here and the other one is over there this vhf we are uh, maintaining listening watch on the coastal channel so that the bts and uh, pilot station can contact us if they have any information for us and if we want to contact the pilot for uh, the pilot boarding time and to confirm uh, for our departure so that we can call them on vhf so that is one of the duty we are we have follow the listening watch on vhf then we monitor the vessel we monitor the position of the vessel if the vessel is within the turning circle this uh, red sorry this in dark uh, circle is our dark colored circle is our turning circle the vessel our vessel should maintain its position within this circle and in addition to that we monitor the nearby vessels as well how they are behaving how how their anchor is holding or not and other traffic which is uh, coming in uh, inbound and outbound traffic traffic in the singapore anchor so so we monitor our ship position we check regularly our anchor cable how the anchor cable is holding if it is holding good or not and then we check our gps position as well we take land fixes and check whether we are maintaining our position within the turning circle so this turning circle guys which we have marked on ecdis as soon as the vessel touches the boundary of this turning circle we'll get a alarm so that we know that vessel is going out of the turning circle and we can take uh precautionary actions in time uh, normally if the weather is good if the anchor is holding vessel will not uh, come out of the turning circle if in case uh, the weather is not good vessel is not holding good uh, in the anchoring ground at the depth that is the time when anchor start dragging and uh, touch wood <laughs> i don't want to experience that i have experienced uh, dragging anchor uh, in my uh, previous voyages but Uh, right now in singapore normally vessels don't drag anchor because the holding ground is good and the depth is good uh, the sea is not choppy this happens when if the sea is uh, quite rough and the holding ground is not good so here vessel normally don't drag anchors let me take you on the port side guys port side bridging we'll see some visuals from the port side bridging oh see full singapore anchorage is jam packed there is a supply boat uh, on our port side there in normally in singapore we have plenty of these supply boats you know these supply boats they uh, navigate from the port and going to the vessel to supplying things uh, supplying stores and also crew change afternoon we had crew change new uh, on signers they embarked yesterday in the evening and then 10 off signers they dis disembarked today afternoon this afternoon at 1500 hours uh, good for them because this is one of the best time to sign off uh, from the ship you know this is december almost mid december as soon as they reach home they will get christmas and new year as well but for us we'll celebrate christmas and new year on board color of water guys this is a little bit mucky it's greenish and uh, at some location you see there is a brown patch as well the coastal water usually it's like that you know it's greenish brownish because of the mud the churning the vessel when the vessel they navigate through the channel they have a churning effect from the propeller that's why the mud comes out and the water becomes grayish greenish and uh, brownish as well okay that is the marina bay sands i'm sure it is not uh, visible in this video but let's me let me take a closer look of marina bay sands you know there are three buildings and there is a ship kind of structure joining all the three buildings together 
and uh, that is called the observation deck actually it is uh, inspired by the construction of a ship so that observation deck is on the top of that building and uh, from there you get a very good bird's eye view of whole of the singapore repairs and services job continued throughout the night our vessel got scheduled to depart in the morning depending on the completion of jobs finally all the planned jobs were completed and we started maneuvering in early morning marine pilot boarded the vessel to take us out of the anchorage area once we were out of the anchorage we joined the tss to exit the singapore strait as the departure was in early morning i got to capture the transit from dawn to daybreak witnessing the beauty of sunrise einstein once said life is like riding a bicycle to keep your balance you must keep moving hope you guys enjoyed the blog if so please hit like share the video and do subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one till then be safe and take good care of yourself